I'm very fortunate to have been recognized by the industry, which um, those accolades feel very nice. I was Fashion Group International's rising star in 2012, 2013. I was um, part of the top 10 finalists for the CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund Award. Um, 2014, I moved into the CFDA Fashion Incubator Program in the Garment District. And through the current program that I'm in right now, the Incubator, um, I have incredible mentors. And at this moment in time, we're putting together the five-year business plan for the, for the collection. And that really is quite a task. So to have the appropriate mentors on board to tell you, um, you know, we would suggest you do this or we recommend you do that or, or just for you to say, actually, this is what I really want. This is the end goal, but I don't know how to get there. And to sometimes be honest about how hard it is and for people to not, um, not be afraid of that, I think is really helpful. It's, it's such support because at times being a business owner means that you can feel very alone. Um, other people can always talk about things and share things and it's not so scary for them. But for you, you always have to take it on the chin and process it by yourself. And it's not like you can tell the people that work with you, oh my God, I'm freaking out, I'm really scared. You can't scare them. So you always have to be the person who feels as though they're being positive and you know, forthright and, and you're the leader and you're, you know, you're putting on the big smile. Uh, when at times you don't always feel that way. So just knowing how to balance things I think is important. The female leaders who I've been influenced by are, you know, manif manifold, but to, to name a few, um, I'm very inspired by the likes of Hillary Clinton. She sparked unknowingly this whole debate for, you know, how people, how women actually, it's not just about gender equality, but actually it's, it's a human rights issue. And I think that we don't think about that in the first world and places like England and places like America where, you know, certainly I think the, the statistic is women make 70 cent, 77 cents on the dollar to men, but I don't think it's that. I think um, it's, it's, it's so much bigger than that. You know, there are, there are issues purely to do with women's bodies that they can't control. Um, Sheryl Sandberg has been another one. Uh, I read Lean In and um, have actually put some of that advice in the book to good use. I would definitely recommend that anybody who, any woman who has their own business to read it. Even if you don't have your own business, I think you should read it. It's a great book. Um, just more locally, uh, Kyle Andrew is a female mentor of mine and um, she was brand director at uh, Kate Spade Saturday and um, has had you know, a long and extensive career and is really just somebody who I look up to a great deal and who gives great advice. Um, and then another one would be someone like Anna Wintour who, um, you know, she's obviously at the height and at the, the top of the fashion industry. Um, but I think that she is so involved on a very detailed level that I have seen myself running a business that you think that you can kind of do top level stuff, but actually unless you're involved in a granular level, the top level stuff doesn't work. I think what I would tell myself at 21 is um, to actually enjoy the the ride that you you know that you take through your career in your 20s. I think it's such a great place to really experiment and see what it is that you want to do. Um, and I think it's important to always have an end goal in sight. I think it's also important to know that you shouldn't be impatient. You must be patient because everything takes longer, especially if you're going to be an entrepreneur. Everything takes longer than you think it will.